Happening today on newsstands, arguably New Mexico's most famous export, of course, is our green chili. Therefore, it's no wonder that New Mexican cuisine is becoming known nationwide for its zest, its bold palate challenging flavors, and of course, its creativity. And New Mexico Magazine is celebrating our local flavorites in their March issue. Joining us now, the man who knows all about New Mexico Magazine, editor in chief Dave Herndon. Dave, always a pleasure to see you. Let's jump right in. Because one of my favorite covers ever, you got a green chili cheeseburger and fries. <laughs> Nothing beats that. So tell us about this issue. Yeah, you can't go wrong with a, a green chili cheeseburger mm. cover, I don't think, for New Mexico <laughs> Magazine. <laughs> Not at all. Not at all. So that one was taken um, at the Shake Foundation, which okay. has become a, an instant uh, kind of classic in Santa Fe over the last year and a half or whatever since they've been open. And, you know, they do it um, kind of like the like in a retro 50s kind of style oh, way wow. when but they you know they really update the classics like the fries are, are famous and that they, they'd have uh, shakes made with you know fantastic ice cream and lavender oh, wow. if you want so it's like it it's kind of a, a little bit of a fancy uh, 50s vibe uh, kind of burger but uh, you know satisfaction guaranteed yeah that's and that's you know again as we were talking about the creativity of some of these chefs and this is all part of the readers choice dining awards so readers right. are chiming in about their favorite eaters right. right so we conduct an online survey of our readers and invite them to uh, you know nominate and vote for their favorites and write in little essays if they want to mm -hmm. um, so you, we kind of get the local word of mouth the local savvy and then we have a great food writer who kind of you know, puts it through her own expertise. So uh, I like to think it's better than Yelp. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, good. I'm glad Howie's not here today. He might have a word to say on that. Yeah, and you know what's great too is it's very comprehensive in terms of we've got some of the old favorites, new restaurants. Right. One of my favorites, Cheap Date. It yeah. breaks it down. So if you're going on a cheap date, this is the best <laughs> place to go. And I love that the Frontier is listed there, too. Yeah. Because you can't go wrong with the Frontier. It's right. fantastic. Now, one of the places you do cover in here, and it actually gets quite a bit of love in this issue, is the Green Jeans Farmery. Right. Um, and that's, uh, you know, um, has places taken off. I mean, it's like, and what a hip concept. Yeah. I mean, like, it's a, it's a food court made out of shipping containers mm -hmm. with, like, um, you know, great street food kind of mm -hmm. um restaurants and cafes and tap rooms and and all that stuff so that with with common seating and and uh what a concept yeah. i mean bravo yeah and you i know we talked to the uh we talked to the man that, that made it all possible roy solomon roy solomon and then we also talk about some of the food and cuisine that you can get there so we right. really kind of get a, a better sense of what's going on there great which concept. is fantastic yeah yep. uh another thing i think that's great another great article that i absolutely loved was moving pictures now this yeah. is a photography uh uh, project that's been going on in Navajo Nation, is that yes. right? Yes, there, um, there's a, a couple of artists in Santa Fe, they call themselves Axel Gallery, because their gallery is a truck, is a former bread delivery truck. Okay. Um, and um, they were commissioned by the Navajo Nation Museum to um, to go to various le uh, locations around Navajo country and take these fantastic portraits mm -hmm of individuals like in parking lots outside of uh, you know Walmarts and stuff or wherever mm -hmm. and uh, the people were invited to hold objects that have some sort of significance to yeah. them and uh, the idea is to capture the p individuals the way they want to be seen right. you know I mean it's it's very it's kind of almost journalistic and it creates a document of Navajo country you know 2016 right. 2017 right. Um, so it's a, you know it's a really valuable cool project. They made a book out of it. It's going to be showing uh, in a, in in Albuquerque and mm -hmm. in other places. At, obviously at the Navajo Museum, which is just off of the, over the border in uh, Arizona. So right. great project and great photos and uh, yeah. You know. One of my favorites, and and I don't know if it was generational, but there's one that it's got like a photo within a photo within a photo of right. family members holding it, and it really sort of speaks to the generational, uh, you know, in the in the residents, the family the, ties, the family exactly, and the generations living on the hop. Uh, the Navajo last Nation. thing they did that was real cool was like they created a composite of all the pictures. Oh, so really? you have like one, like oh wow, you know, yeah, that's what interesting. It, oh wait, is yeah. that is that that last image the in the last article? One, yeah. I was wondering how they did that. You got to yeah. pick up the magazine to see this image. Uh, another thing that I think is really fantastic is the becoming New Mexican. One of my favorite artists is featured in this, uh, uh, Jim Vogel. I think he's an amazing artist, uh, yes. and it really kind of talks about what it is to be a New Mexican and and the sort of the pride that we have within our state. Right. So we have two companion pieces, both of the by people who live in Dixon. Mm -hmm. uh, one of them uh, is uh, Jim Vogel, mm -hmm. who did the, we used his paintings to illustrate a piece mm -hmm. by Stanley Crawford. There's Vogel. And, um, and you know, Stanley's piece is about, um, 
you know, his assimilation into northern New Mexico community, coming as sort of a hippie in the 60s and becoming um, a garlic farmer and author and sort of a community leader as a mayor domo of the Asequia, et cetera. So that process of assimilating to uh, northern New Mexico and Vogel, to, I love his thing. He, he talks about how he grew up in Roswell as one of 12 children. Wow. And his, his role in the family, his identity was the weird little art kid. <laughs> and, and he said that's a, it's a metaphor for New Mexico. Yeah. Like, New Mexico is the United States weird little art kid. Which, I love which, is, that. that's which is fantastic, yeah. isn't it? That's part of a series we're doing uh, called The Heart of, uh, Heart of New Mexico. Yeah, we it's of fantastic. Started in January. Where can we get a copy of this? Go, you got to get this copy on your newsstands. Mm -hmm. And in order to get uh, your next one in the mail, you go to nmmagazine.com and, um, and order it. And for viewers of this show, we have a code. So pay attention for a $15 subscription. TV gift, if you want to give it to somebody else, TV gift. Uh -huh. uh, or for yourself, get TV sub. TV sub, there you go. Then guys. use capital letters. TV yeah, gift and TV sub. There you go. For more information on getting your subscription for New Mexico Magazine, head over to foxnewmexico.com.